Haley from monorabbits.com and in today's video I thought I would just do a vlog kind of day in the life what I do so today I thought I would kind of take you along with what I do for my job kind of so one-on-one -on -one rabbits like things that I do throughout the day and then also just like everyday things so I thought that might be interesting so I just got ready for the day I didn't really do my hair but I did a little bit of makeup and put on some clothes at least and now we're just gonna go to the bunnies and wow look really red there we go and I'm just gonna go do the bunnies and feed them and all of the things so let's go to the bunny room hi boys. oh are you cuddling? Yeah? Oh, look at the precious babies. Oh. He's like on top of her head. She's like, um, excuse me. Do not do that. I'm leaving. <laughs> uh, if you guys don't know, Ebony doesn't like to be pet by humans, so just sterling. Okay, you get out. Out, Milo. Hey, out, out, Milo. No. So I'm just gonna go ahead and feed them. So like change their water, uh, get them veggies and stuff. If you guys wanna see like how I do that type of stuff, I have a lot of videos on that. So you can check it out. I just picked up a random piece of kale. So gonna go do that. So I thought I would just show you guys how I give Ebony her medicine. Um, she used to be able to take it really well without me having to pick her up, which was amazing. Um, unfortunately, she learned that when I put the syringe full of banana, um, she hates the taste of the medicine. So she used to take it because she liked the smell of the banana, but then she learned that the banana had the medicine in it and she stopped eating it. And now she doesn't even want to take plain banana for me because she thinks it's tainted with the medicine. So <laughs> I have to pick her up twice a day to give her her medicine, which sucks because now she, uh, it's kind of like ruined our relationship a little bit because um, she's just had a really rough past. So human interaction is really difficult for her. So having to force give her medicine twice a day is not ideal, but Unfortunately, she will be on this medicine the rest of her life. Uh, for those of you guys who don't know, she has liver disease and um, she has to be on liver medicine her whole life to keep her liver levels stable. So, yeah, not fun. <laughs> Hi, Juju's. How are you? <laughs> He's like, what do you got? Huh? What do you got? What? Oh, you guys can see my compression socks. <laughs> How charming and my slippers <laughs> so after I give her her medicine I try to give her something she enjoys so um, I try to give uh, both sterling and her a little bit of oat hay because they really like that so let's go see if we can get some for them um, you want to see how messy the closet is since the video we've got a box in here and there's hay on the floor but otherwise everything's pretty pretty okay um let's see let's find some hay so i just grab a little handful you just got to make sure ebony comes out come on so there she goes she's eating it in her little house and sterling's just over here <laughs> and then lulu is in here but her room is a very messy look at all that hay so uh we need to clean her asap um, she's a little messy, but that's okay. Oh, and I should mention, um, she is blind in her left eye now, for those of you guys who don't know. Um, so if you do see her left eye being white, that is why she is blind in her left eye. Um, she's over 11 years old, so she does have a lot more health issues. But we're gonna go ahead and clean you up. Yeah. Get your widow box all, get all the hay out of there. Yeah. Does it sound like a good idea? <laughs> so it is Monday, June 15th, and in the beginning of the week, I want to... Milo? Seriously? But I wanna go ahead and make a list of things I need to get done. Um, not necessarily everything I need to get done today, but I wanna get a lot of it done today. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a list. Uh, it's currently 
almost one o'clock, so <laughs> did not get a very early start on the day, but we'll just go ahead and figure this out. So just gonna write down everything I need to get done and start working away at it. All right, so I've got to my list here. It is not very good handwriting, so I'm not gonna show you too closely. We're gonna do the best we can. So I'll probably start with cleaning Lulu's room. So yeah, let's go get started. Do you ever have that where like, you're getting ready to do something and you're like so motivated and then it's time to do it and you're like, but I'm tired. <laughs> yeah, that's me right now, so. I'm like slouching to like fit in the frame. cleaning Lulu's room. So I'll just go ahead and show you. Oh, I have the fan on. Let's turn that off. Um, so I just have her hay and her litter box, which she's already used. Her veggies. I have a little hay rack. Wow, that's creaky. <laughs> little hay rack, but there's no hay in it currently. Um, this is her little teepee that I need to replace. So I just have this blanket on top. Um, her water dish and then I keep extra hay in here for when I need to refill it um, And then the sink is kind of dirty. I need to wash that up But then I just put the vinegar and water mixture in there and yeah, that is her area um, Sometimes if I don't use a sheet these blankets kind of come up when I open the door um, So it's kind of annoying, but her area is clean, so now I'm out of breath. I need to clean the playtime area. So as you can see, it's kind of dirty. Uh, this is the bedding from Lulu's room, so I'm just gonna throw that into the laundry room, into there, so that's gonna be washed. Right now I have the mop head washing, so it's on like a quick cycle, so once that's done, um, it'll be ready to mop the floor. With it, um, I just use this little thingy to mop and it like sticks to there. Um, I'm not sure what I have in there. Probably vinegar and water, but I might use peroxide to clean the floor because it is a disinfectant. Um, and when it dries, it's completely safe. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this outside. This was my birthday present from my friend. It's super cute. I don't know where she got it, but um, I'm gonna replace the front door. Um, our builders gave us this. It says something about our house being built in 2019. Um, Shadow, no, 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 leave. Okay, we're gonna close the door now. Um, so I'm gonna replace that. is just drying and then once it dries I'm going to put their rug back in there but it's still wet so I'm waiting but I just threw in Lulu's laundry this is some clean bunny laundry that I need to put away but in my last video or mm, I don't know if it was my last video but one of my videos I showed me doing bunny laundry and a lot of people wanted to know what laundry soap I used so this is the brand I use it's called my green fills and it's just unscented laundry detergent. So you wanna make sure that you always use unscented laundry soap when you're doing your bunny's laundry because they can't have scented things because they have very fragile respiratory systems. So um, this is just uh, earth-friendly, non-toxic, hypoallergenic, um, just a bunch of things. And basically what you do is you mix the powder with um, 50 ounces of water 
and I just use this old jug that I have. I used to use seventh generation laundry soap, which this is a good laundry soap too, but because you have to use a plastic bottle every single time, you know, it's a lot of plastic waste. So I like these because it's just a little pack, you dump it in, and I think they changed the packs now too. I think they're a different material to be more eco-friendly, but I'm not sure I haven't bought new packs in a long time. But yeah, it lasts a long time, it fills the jug up, and then uh, that's basically it. It's kind of a more watery mixture than a thicker soap mixture like the seventh generation. But I really like it. I use it for the bunnies and myself. And then I use just white vinegar as fabric softener because again, you don't want to use fabric softener with bunnies. Not, you don't want to use the sheets in the dryer either because that's not good. So I just use white vinegar and it works great. So yeah, just thought I would show you that. Shadow. Why do you want to get in there? Huh? So I'm just outside for a little bit. Uh, it's currently like 4.30, so I'm about to go do orders, but I'll let the kitties out. So this is like our backyard. It is not finished yet. Um, I think at the end of June, we're supposed to have a yard guy come and finish it. So basically we have like these two patios. That's my parents' house and this is mine. Uh, so we just put an X pen up so that they can't like get on the yard because I don't want them to get ticks or anything because we live in one of like the highest counties for uh, Lyme disease so as long as they're not in the grass they can't get the ticks on them so that's why I just let them play on the cement and they just love rolling around on it um, but yeah we just keep this fence up and then just let them play I'd really like to like make a catio out here like that would be so cool but I don't know how to build things, so that's kind of up to my dad, and I don't think he'd want to do that. <laughs> Otherwise, I think it would be really cool in this window, so this is my living room window, to have like a shelf thing that came out all the way across the window, and they could like, you know, lay on that. Like, it would be outside, and then they could like enter through the window. I don't know if that makes sense. But yeah, um, I don't know if I told you guys, I'm actually keeping Shadow, my parents' cat, uh, technically he's still my parents, but I'm taking care of him now just because Milo really, really likes Shadow. And I think he would have been too sad to see Shadow go home. So <laughs> Shadow's staying with me and Clara, my mom's other cat, is still with my mom. So, um, we just kept Shadow, but he is an old guy. He's about 14, 14 ish. So he's old. He's got a couple of health issues but nothing too severe mainly just arthritis he's overweight so we are putting him on a diet aren't we but don't tell him because he doesn't know he's on a diet but i only let the cats out when i am supervising them because obviously this is only a three foot fence uh so they technically could jump it uh they don't when i'm out here but obviously if they were out here alone i wouldn't trust it so yeah and we have like dogs sometimes that get loose in the neighborhood, so you know, never want to leave them alone. Goldie Joan, oh, good boy. She was like, What are you doing with your butt in my face? So I got the catnip out and I sprinkled it on the cement, and Milo's going crazy. <laughs> it's all over him. Look at that. It's all over you. Oh, oh. I don't think Shadow likes that. Shadow's more of like a calm catnip cat. Well, kind of. He like likes to eat it and smell it and lay in it. He doesn't like to like get hyper. So when other cats get hyper, he kind of gets angry. <laughs> Milo, leave him alone. Milo, you don't eat other kitties' butt. See, this is what Shadow likes to do. Just lay and roll. And Milo likes to go psycho. So 
So I just got all of these delivered. There are one, two, three, four, five paper rolls. So basically like packaging paper that you use to package boxes with. So just got all these delivered and I'm gonna have to bring them inside and into the basement because if you guys didn't know, we moved all of our shipping stuff in the basement. My living room is now empty, but very messy. Um, so that's gonna be interesting because these things weigh very heavy. That's not really how you say it. I don't even know how much they weigh. Oh my word, probably like 40 pounds. So I thought I would show you the bun buns real quick. So here's Sterling. He is like literally the softest rabbit ever. Like so soft. Aren't you boo boos? Oh, there she is. Hi. Hi, I won't pet you. I won't pet you. Hi. She's like, leave me alone. <laughs> awful lighting and probably really awful audio and I look horrible because I took my makeup off but basically I just came into the basement because I left my camera down here um, you guys probably see some things behind me that I've not shown on my channel um, basically we redid the area where we ship out my uh, packages and stuff. I wonder if the lighting is better. Uh. Uh, anyways, basically we redid the area where we ship out our packages because I simply grew out of my living room, which is what I was using before. So now we have like the entire basement, if you guys can see. But I'm trying not to show too much because I really want to do a like shop tour. So let me know down below if you guys would be interested in that. Basically, I don't want to do it right now. Uh, it was actually supposed to be this week's video, but it got postponed, which is why I'm doing a vlog, uh, because we need to install lighting still. It's still like just bulb lighting, so we're gonna install some lighting this week. And then um, I also am out of a lot of products currently, uh, like sold out. <laughs> so that's an issue. Like if you see here, these are some of my shelves empty actually that has one thing in it but empty basically empty like everything's all empty uh so i didn't want to do the tour when i didn't have any product so um i ordered lots and lots of products so it should be coming it's just some of it hasn't shipped yet the other stuff shipped but it's not here it's a big ordeal. So that's kind of why I didn't uh, vlog earlier while we were packaging orders because I was kind of stressed out. Um, I made a huge, like a lot, I spent a lot of money on like supplies and it's not coming. Uh, like it's coming, it's just taking forever. So I'm just getting a little anxious about that, but it'll be fine, it'll work out. But I wanna show you guys this, this is really cool. It's our new, um, like, I don't know what you call it tape dispenser machine this was our old one so you pull a lever i'm just doing a little bit of tape so i don't waste it but look it like cuts it for you isn't that cool um i'll show you guys more when we do the tour of the basement but i'm gonna go back upstairs i am currently feeding the bunnies um i already fed them but i'm going to give them their medicine and things like that. Hi Milo. The only downside is it is in the basement, which means I have to walk upstairs. Um, if you guys didn't know, I have a condition called POTS, uh, postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome, which is why I have this thing connected to my chest. Uh, basically, I don't handle exercise and things like that very easily. Um, so going up and down stairs is very difficult for me. Um, but because of new treatments and stuff, such as my port, I've been able to make it up and down the stairs, even though it is very difficult for me. I just have to recover one second. So I give her the meloxicam first. There you go, good girl. And then I give her this one. There you go, good job. And then it's time for Lulu's or Ebony's medicine and she already knows what time it is. You can tell she's not happy. Come here. I always try to offer it to her, but she never takes it. Hey, do you wanna take it today? It's okay. Nope, she doesn't. <laughs> so I got her. I'm going 
I'll put it in here. There you go. There you go. Do you want the rest of the banana? Nope. She's like, I don't want that. <laughs> All right. Well, we tried. So yeah, that's basically it for today. Um, I don't really have anything else I'm doing because it's 10 o'clock. 10.22, wow, 10.22, I need to be in bed. Normally I am in bed by 10, even though I don't fall asleep until like 12. But yeah, that's basically it for today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, let me know if you like these kind of videos because they're kind of fun for me to film. Um, so if you guys wanna see more, maybe I'll do that. Sterling, he's like, I want the banana. I want the banana. Here, do you wanna lick the banana off? So gentle. All right, so that's basically it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave down below if you wanna see the new shop tour and I will see you guys very soon on a new video. Bye.